Greetings After Effects lovers! Now this next tutorial is really nice and simple. It's about using the convert audio to keyframes function to make a really quick animation using the audio as a trigger for an effect or a movement. Um, you'll see what I mean. Okay so this is my... Um, I've got some audio recorded on this layer which is me reading some health and safety regulations which I've used to animate the voice. Boom. Management of Health and Safety at Work Regulations 1999. Of our Health and Safety Wolf. All Health and Safety needs uh, a wolf. There we go. So how did I go about doing this? Nice and simple. Let me just do a, a new uh, new composition. Sorry, new composition. Oh, let's call it Wolf 2. Wolf 2. There we go. New comp. And let's just have our... Let's pop our grey wolf in there. There he is, looking majestic. We lovely grey wolf. And let's have our audio, our VO. Drop that in there. Okay, I'll do for starters. And let me just... Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm simply going to uh, start by right-clicking or control-clicking on the audio layer and choosing keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes and et voila quick as you like it's created a slider control so if i open up the uh here effects we've got these three slider controls left channel right channel and both channels well i don't need all three if i was doing a some sort of stereo creating shapes equalizer type thing maybe but really I could just use one of these. I'll just use both channels. Keep it nice and simple. Okay, so as you can see, if I hit the U key, they've all got keyframes for the slider changing there based on the amplitude of the sound file. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go and I need an effect. Okay, so I want to make the mouth move. So I'm just going to type in CC split and drop that on my wolf so we've got this cc split basically does that we okay so do that so i'm going to take the end points point a and point b of the split effect and just pop them on the on the mouth of our health and safety wolf there we go there we go there we go speak it away and then all i need to do now is let's open up the uh this layer this split i'm going to alt click on that to bring up our pick whip and I'm going to attach that there you go I'm going to choose the pick whip and attach that to the slider there we go and it's written our expression saying that this this comp and, and it's going to find its uh, value from the layer audio amplitude both channel slider so simple expression there so now when I hit play one Management of Health and Safety at Work Regulations 1999. And I just, uh, I just put a little layer on the other one at the back. Let's solve this. I just added a little red dot in there. A uh, little gradient ramp. Just a layer. Put a little gradient ramp on. And that was our little background layer. So uh, I'm just going to copy that paste that there we go stick it underneath unsolo it there it is move it there we go it's quite a little kind of red mouth in fact you can even Boom. I've done versions where I've downloaded some comedy teeth you can put anything you want but it's just to give you an idea of how easy it is to could use the audio to generate some keyframes which we can use on an effect um and uh create uh, all kinds of things really we can do uh, animated characters things that glow or shine or move in time to music. It's a really useful little function hidden away in After Effects. So uh, remember, be safe at work or the wolf will get you.